Okay, Samarth, because of the disruptions in class, I don't think I was able to answer your question as best as I would have liked to. You asked, how does lanthanide contraction work? To understand that, you must understand the other two effects that operate first. When you go down a group, what are the effects that are operating? Effect number one is the fact that Z, atomic number, increases, which means that the number of protons in the nucleus increase, which means that assuming nothing else changes, the valence electrons are attracted more towards the nucleus because there are more protons, which tends to reduce atomic radius. This is the first effect. What's the second effect? The second effect is twofold. As you go down a group, n increases. As n increases, you're adding a shell that's generally further away from the nucleus, which means atomic radius increases. Second, shielding comes into play. Yeah, you know that. And as shielding comes into play, effective nuclear charge decreases, as we discussed, and this tends to increase atomic radius. Now, ordinarily, between these two effects, this is the most dominant effect, which means that ordinarily, as you go down a group, radius increases. This is what normally happens. Now, when you go from the fourth period to the, uh, I'm sorry, from the uh, fifth period to the sixth period, what happens is that the lanthanides come into play. Okay? So, what's the, and the lanthanide contraction effect starts to have importance. What is the lanthanide contraction effect? When the lanthanides are being formed, electrons are going into the 4f orbital. The 4f orbital, as we discussed, doesn't have much penetrating power, which means that the electrons are far away from the nucleus, which means that they don't shield the valence electrons much from the uh, nucleus itself. Now, which means that the valence electrons are exposed to the nucleus much more. And this would have a tendency to reduce the uh, atomic radius because the valence electrons are pulled more. Now, as you go from the 5th to the 6th period, you expect to see an increase because of this predominant effect. But because of lanthanide contraction, you see a decrease. These two cancel each other out. And as you go from the 5th to the 6th period, lanthanide contraction means or causes the effect that the expected increase in atomic radius does not take place and radius remains more or less constant between the 5th and the 6th period. I hope this answers your question better.